my worst nightmare or fear about traveling just happened. The truck broke down. Uh, I think the uh, transmission, I don't know, something happened to it. I, I, I don't know if it overheated or, or what, but um, we're right outside of Jacksonville on the I-95, about a half an hour from our destination. We're gonna try to get a tow to Brunswick. Not a good day, but I guess we're gonna figure it out. It's all part of the journey, right? Probably gonna be a $5,000 life lesson, but oh, it's just one of those days. Definitely having a drink tonight. If we ever get to a campsite. Magic of video editing. We're here two weeks later in Brunswick, Georgia. Still in Brunswick, Georgia. Um, the truck is fixed. Uh, it was the transmission, and yes, it was expensive, but it's fixed. It's done. Uh, it runs really well now. It actually runs better than it did before. Um, I, th I really think that original transmission in, in, in our Sierra from day one it was always a little bit wonky, so running much much better. Um, we didn't, after that um, footage that, that, that I showed you at the beginning of the video, we didn't really videotape a whole heck of a lot because we were so flustered and I was just more concerned about getting ourselves off the road and back to the campground and set up. So we didn't really take any, I didn't, we didn't even get any pictures of the truck in the trailer on the tow truck. So anyways, um, we are here in uh, Brunswick. We're just about to take a walking tour, but I wanted to share with you one big lesson learned that we did learn from that experience that day, and that was uh, roadside assistance. Now, we do have Aviva Insurance, and Aviva Insurance does offer roadside assistance with your policy. However, not very good. Uh, first of all, I was on hold for 45 minutes uh, on the side of the road and trying to get a hold of somebody at Aviva, but when I finally did get a hold of somebody, um, the only tow truck that she said she could send out to us was going to cost $3,500 US, which in Canadian dollars is like $4,800 Canadian. Um, and to add insult to injury, she said our policy will only cover up to $300 Canadian. So basically we were going to be out of pocket the difference. So like $4,500 Canadian, that's what it was going to cost us to get off the road. Now we were only going 25 miles. We were only half an hour down the road from the campground. It's not like we had to go across state. Um, so I don't know why they were charging us so much. But anyways, you know, thank God Barb was on the phone while I was on the phone. She was looking for local truck drivers just to kind of get a backup plan. Thank God. Uh, and she found somebody for $750, which is still a lot of money. Um, but anyways what can you do you're on the side of the road you got to get off so we went with that route uh, it was a little bit cheaper um, so long story short we made it back to the campground everything was fine safe um, and um, but we did learn that lesson is when you have roadside assistance check into your policy um, especially if you have a Viva insurance because um, I thought we were covered uh, and apparently we weren't not very well anyways so look into your policy make sure that you're covered for roadside assistance so if you get into that situation that we got into two weeks ago you don't have the same problems financially that we did that day um, so just make sure you're covered uh, that would be my uh, advice to anybody right now is check your roadside assistance before you hit the road um, anyways having said that we're going to tour Brunswick um, today and uh, share with you some of the sights and sounds that we see here. It looks like a beautiful little town. They have a nice historic uh, district so we're gonna do that and uh, yeah we'll take you along so let's go. So I learned nothing from the Prohibition <laughs> Museum. Nothing. <laughs> Downtown 
Brunswick is really cute. Um, there's not really a ton of stores to go in and browse around in, but they do have the distillery as well, and they do have the um, brewery, so we're gonna take a visit in there. But yeah, it's definitely worth a little walk around and uh, nice to see the squares, and it's well worth a little drive down here. Can't get in, they're not open till four. What? Well, Silver Bluff, we tried to get in here and taste your beer, but it looks absolutely beautiful anyways. So maybe next time we're back in Brunswick. Who knew? Belly dancing in Brunswick. <laughs> so Brunswick, Georgia has 14 of these city squares. It's laid out very similar to Savannah, um, although Savannah's got 22. Um, Brunswick's are quite a bit smaller, but they're still absolutely beautiful to see. But it's, it's worth a stop. It's worth, it's, it's cute to come and walk and see all the history that's down here and see the beautiful buildings. And um, so yeah, pay it a visit. St. Simon is an island off the Georgia coast known for its salt marshes and sandy stretches like East Beach. It's actually located about 20 minutes from where we were staying in Brunswick, so we decided to take a day trip there and check it out. What we found was a beautiful island that we never even knew existed. There is a historic downtown district that has your typical souvenir stores, clothing, snack shops, and restaurants. At the end of the street, Along the waterfront is a large pier, and if you follow the waterfront path, it'll take you to the lighthouse. The lighthouse was originally built in 1810, destroyed in the Civil War, but then rebuilt in 1872, and still stands today. You can take tours to climb the lighthouse, but Barb and I decided not to go up there because it was the start of March break and it was pretty busy. Right beside the lighthouse is a museum for those of you wanting to know more about the lighthouse and its history. There's so much to see and do on St. Simon Island, but with limited time, we decided to go check out Fort Frederica. It's a national monument, which was actually a town within a fort. The park is very well maintained and nicely manicured. There's not a lot to see as far as ruins in regards to the fort and the old town, but the scenery there is spectacular. There's a lot of walking trails and you could easily spend half a day to a day there if you really wanted to look around and take in all the hikes. So St. Simon Island is definitely a must stop if you're in this area and have an afternoon to spend there. We love the scenery, the homes, the island vibe, but St. Simon isn't the only island in the area. Jekyll Island isn't too far away. But I'm going to let Barb explain that one to you. Jekyll Island is approximately 20 minutes from Brunswick and where we were staying, so we decided to head down and check out island number two in the area. The island is a state park, so there is an $8 fee which you pay at the gates of the bridge, and it gets you access to the island for the entire day. Once you're on the island, there's quite a bit to see. There is a beach area, which is called St. Simon's Pier Village District, and it serves as the downtown social hub. There's shopping, restaurants, hotels. There's even a water park in this area. Along the coast, there are several public beaches, including one very interesting one, Driftwood Beach, which is simply spectacular and made for some very cool pictures. While you're there, also check out the Jekyll Island Historic District. People that came from old money came to this area to build cottages and summer homes back in the early 1900s. The cottages and homes have been preserved and are absolutely stunning. The views, the architecture, the history, and the landscaping is just breathtaking. Jekyll Island is quite fascinating and beautiful. And like St. Simon's Island, this should be on your list to see. All right, so that about wraps it up here in uh, Brunswick. Uh, we're just about to head out tomorrow morning. Uh, we've been here for the last three weeks. 
Um, not planned, but let me tell you, if we were going to break down anywhere, I'm glad we broke down here because it's actually a very beautiful area. Uh, I'm, I'm really surprised at um, how beautiful this area is between Brunswick, the historic district, Jekyll Island, St. Simon Island. Um, we would have never have known that this area kind of exists. I've never heard of Brunswick area before. So I guess that kind of proves why we're doing what we're doing and traveling and kind of experiencing new things because we would have never have known this was here. So um, not that I wanted to pay all that money to get a new transmission, but like I said, if we were going to break down anywhere, I'm glad we broke down here because at least it gave us something to do. So, um, so anyways, we're going to take Tyson for a little walk here tonight and um, head back out tomorrow. So... We shall catch you uh, in next week's video. And uh, if we don't see you soon, hopefully we'll see you on the road. So take care, guys. Come on, team. Let's go. Come on. Let's go.